Something I noticed in the Book of Boba Fett Episode 5 was a very familiar ship that we haven't seen for decades. The Scimitar. Now, this video isn't to state whether this is a fact or not, rather a theory, and I noticed some other fans calling this out as well. Is this the Scimitar? Is this Darth Maul's ship? I mean, this episode of the Book of Boba Fett was filled with Episode 1 easter eggs and callbacks, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually Maul's ship put in there. So, let's assume it is. Let's talk about it on the pretense of that. If we go to the end credits where the concept art rolls in on the Halo City, we see this ship in the far right top corner. Now, while it is possible that there are several models of this same ship, I don't think the concept artist would put in such an iconic ship just for giggles. Much like how in Revenge of the Sith, we see the Millennium Falcon on Coruscant, this ship here, I think, is actually Maul's scimitar. So, is this Darth Maul? No, of course not, he's dead. But who I do think it is, is Kira, Maul's apprentice, and the leader to Crimson Dawn. I believe this little easter egg is something not to be glossed over. I think Crimson Dawn is the one funding the Pikes, and really the power behind this whole show. Now I think what's gonna happen is Thrawn controls everything, just kind of like the Thanos of Star Wars, and Kira is like Hela, or somewhat like a version of Nebula or something like that. Maul's crime syndicate is being now led by Kira, who rose to power in Solo near the end. I think seeing her and maybe even Han Solo together in the show could be interesting. Perhaps you know, she captures Han Solo or something and brings him to Boba Fett as a peace offering. Luke has to step in and it's an all-out war. And we see Boba a little bit conflicted, but ultimately staying true to his team. I think Boba wants revenge on Luke and Han for what they did to him, so it would be exciting to see what happens if he comes across them again. Kira will be really powerful, I think. Not in the Force, of course, as she isn't Force-sensitive, but in her dueling abilities trained by Maul, as well as her overall control of the Crimson Dawn. Now, she did fight Vader in the canon comics, and of course she got, you know, bested, but she did hold her own for a little bit. And the whole time they were fighting, Vader was like, how did you learn how to fight like this? Who taught you? Who's your master? And of course, Maul. She controls many crime lords, much like Maul did, as we see him tell everyone to go into hiding just before Order 66 in the Clone Wars Season 7. Now, seeing Maul's ship, the Scimitar, lets me know that Crimson Dawn is indeed coming, and we can expect an all-out war in the seventh episode. Let me know what you guys think about Maul's ship appearing in this concept art. I'm surprised they didn't put it actually in the scene, but in the concept art itself. And mind you, look, it could just be that the artist really likes the scimitar and was like, hey, I'm just going to put this in there for, you know, like a scale to how big the actual Halo City is. And if he did that, well, okay, cool. But I mean, I just feel like we've gotten a lot of hints here and there of Crimson Dawn possibly returning. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kira is actually the one behind everything and we just missed her in the Mandalorian inspired episode. I'll be reading your comments below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.